What's up, family? So we got a professional race baiter, Michael Eric Dyson. Got caught with his hands in a forbidden cookie jar. Let's talk about it. Um, today we're going to talk about the political contributor and author Michael Eric Dyson getting caught all in Nancy Mace DMs in her text messages in a flirtatious manner. After nearly calling her a racist on television, now, before I get to the evidence, before I get to the video, I just want to say this. The reason why I'm doing this video is to let you know that these talking heads on television, when they talk about the white man this, the white man that, white supremacy this, white supremacy that, all these leftist talking points, take it with a grain of salt. Because especially when it's all about the white man all the time, when a black person is on there talking about white this, white that, white man's a devil, take it with a grain of salt, okay? They don't really believe it. They don't, okay? Um, and that's the only reason why I'm doing this video. On top of it, race has to do with nothing. It's just full of nonsense. Let's talk about things that are actually conducive for the best interests of the American people and put things in the right direction because it's not a race war, as I always say. It's a class war, family. There's individuals out there starving. Grocery bills are high. Illegal immigrants come in swarming into the country. Crime at an all-time high. And those are the main concerns. We all need to be banding together coming together, and it doesn't matter if you black, blue, or white, green, it doesn't matter. I don't care about it. I don't condone in this nonsense. But since this individual want to take it amongst himself, we're going to get down to how ignorant and the ignorance of it, right? So, like I say, take it with a grain of salt. They don't really believe it. That's the only reason why I'm doing this video is very simple. The more they talk about the white man, the more they love the white man. And this is yet another example of why the phrase blame the white man and the white man this and the white man that is a bunch of nonsense. But first, let's get to um, the situation in question. What happened on television? Okay. So all this stemmed from a CNN spot where Mr. Dyson is trying to correct Nancy Mace as far as the pronunciation of Kamala Harris' name. All right? Let's check this out first. That sounds like self-hatred and justification of white supremacy. And let me just say this, because this congresswoman is a wonderful human being, but, but, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. Oh, so now you're calling me racist. I didn't say, that, I just that, said that you weren't racist. BS. That is complete no, You BS. don't have to intend racism no, to no, no, accomplish it. No, 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 you are it. intending that I am Your disrespect of Kamala Harris is, is part and parcel of a tradition. Why can't you just disrespect? Why can't you just, Congresswoman, why can't you just, I'm not calling you a racist, I'm saying you what the practice is racist. You are, you are, you are. No, what's disgusting is your disrespect of her. Professor, this gentleman said, you know what, I you didn't know, know her name. He's trying to do it. disgusting to women is her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is. And if, if 25 years ago, white I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women who, who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years care ago, for your baby 25 years ago, I became humanity. the first woman to graduate from the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. I so fought my way right. through it. So pronounce her name right. Let me actually get. So pronounce her name right. And Kamala Harris, if I want, Kamala, Kamala, you said we don't call you Nancy Nancy. It's Kamala. Kamala. You're doing this on purpose, Congressman. That's disrespectful. You can't expect people to respect your service if you don't respect her. If she walked that stage 25 years ago, she would have said it. She would have taken that achievement away from women. Well, there we go, family. So now a little bit of context. She was saying, Kamala. And they were like, Kamala. And then all the panelists, a lot of black folks, hold on, she was saying Kamala. They're saying it's Kamala instead of Kamala. And he is trying to lecture her and nearly call her a racist, basically. So we're talking about race when the subject is who's a woman and who's not, okay? And if you, Mr. Dyson, put a wig on, are you a woman? 
No, you're not. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, Puerto Rican, or <laughs> you know what I'm saying, etc. You're a male and she's a female. It's simple. So you get the general idea of what's going on here by me demonstrating the video to you guys. And hey, basically, I think you're a racist because you're not pronouncing Kamala Harris' name correctly and you don't even really care, okay? That's the racism there, according to him, um, Mr. Dyson. Now let's skip forward a little bit and let's get Mr. Michael, let's get Mr. Dyson over here on the camera, right? We got him on the camera getting a selfie. Hey, 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 Miss Nancy Mace. You look great on C SPAN. Can I get a selfie? Can I get this from my phone so I could look at it after we're done? Yeah, let me get that selfie. That's selfie. That's pretty interesting. I don't think if I'm gonna allude to something being a racist, that I'll be sitting here, um, sitting in their face. Begging for pictures, right, family? And that's not really how that works, okay? And I'm not going to be in Hillary Clinton's face and Maxine Waters' face trying to get a picture, right? I'm not going to do that. But here he is right here, all right now, <laughs> sitting here like I want a selfie. selfie. So, now Nancy Mace had posted this. Boom. Kissy face emoji, and she posted it on her Twitter at 5.25 p.m. September 19th. This is Mr. Dyson in her messages trying to be very, very flirtatious to Miss Nancy, who he accused of being a racist for not pronouncing Kamala Harris' name correctly. Um, look, man. Now, a little bit of advice to men out there, especially a little bit of advice to the men, I should say. You want to talk crazy about a woman and try to embarrass her and do stuff like that. Please believe that women keep receipts. And they got a whole folder on you right now and you don't even know it. And you want to act crazy. You want to try to embarrass them? You want to try to slander their name? All right, cool. Well, how about that? Mr. Dyson got exposed, and you see the little case of kiss and face emoji? So that's Miss Nancy Mace posting the screenshot, all right, now? That's them right there, Mr. Dyson and Miss Nancy. <laughs> A nice little embrace. And yes, Mr. Dyson is married. He has been married since 1992, his third marriage, by the way. But that's a different story. So there he is with the cuff all, all out of sleeve. Um, can we get your suit tailored? Can we get the, the professionalism of shoes um, be brought up to the professionalism of your suit, let alone your suit that need to be tailored? You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, I don't know. But anyway, and there he is. Shh. I don't think your wife will like this, Mr. Dyson. And she's laughing, ha, 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 as you see in the messages, family. And then he's continuing. Well, you're gorgeous. Makes these photos. So so that there's that. Sir, how thirsty can you get, Mr. Dyson? After nearly calling her a racist on CNN on national television. That's crazy. That's just totally nuts. And, man, it's just crazy. And now... I got a little bit of bigger of a picture here for you guys, family. Um, and I introduced to you, and this got introduced into the record on Capitol Hill. Check this out. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos in this text he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together and sent mm. me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says order. I'm gorgeous and all these photos. I don't think he's that been out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or the one or the other. That's the history and legacy of mm. white disregard for the humanity of black. Well, family, you heard her. Hold both sides accountable. 
Uh, I don't know the context of this particular thing. If you know why she brought this up in the Capitol Hill um, family, please comment down below and let me know. Um, but again, did I say they keep receipts? Huh. You think you're going to try to get over on her and make her look? Not only do they have receipts, man, they're going to present it in public form. So there you go. I mean, that's what's going on here. Michael Eric Dyson, all these pro wax and pro blacks, whatever you want to call them, blackity blacks, is always the same thing. And I expect it at this point. And I mean, we see it in Congress with the people that are elected officials on the left. Um, look, your Ian Omar's, the white men's bad, the white men's the most dangerous on earth, except for my husband or except for my wife. Or in the case of Don Lemon, except for my white male husband, okay. They're the scum of the earth. They're the worst of the worst. But I got mixed kids that's white and black and everything else. It's the dumbest thing in the world, man. It's nonsense. It's ignorance being spread. It's divisive and it's uncalled for. And it should not even be entertained. We should be coming together. Unity is what I'm for and the best interest of the American people. Not this nonsense and tearing each other down. I don't condone in this family, and it actually upsets me. Um, and for this individual like Mr. Eric Dyson to have, he's a scholar, and to spread some divisive ignorance like this. Man, but as I close, I want to say this. Hey, if you like Nancy Mason, you're attracted to her, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. She's a nice-looking lady. She looks very nice. You're not wrong to be attracted, but don't go on television trying to embarrass her, trying to almost call her racist and jump down her throat. Then behind the scenes while you're married, Mr. Dyson, you want to be all in her DMs sending flirtatious messages. Don't do that. Don't be thirsty like that, okay? Because when you try to embarrass someone and they got something on you, it might hit you back. Um... So I think he might have regretted his decision to try and do all that extra stuff. Um, I had one piece of advice for Mr. Dyson. If you want to try to be, try to flirt with women and all this and that, look, don't embarrass him. Don't, don't, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and the second thing is, well, the second thing is don't embarrass him. The first thing is, if you want to flirt with him, flirt with him. But the second thing is, don't embarrass him. The third thing is, try not being married. You know what I'm saying? And don't go on TV talking about whites are bad, whites are evil, white are the source of all problems, when in all reality, you're spreading hatred to the very thing. You, you, you like Miss Nancy, but you don't know how to express it, but you use hatred as a way of expressing your interest to be attracted to someone, that just doesn't make sense. Um, and it tells you how ignorant that is and ignorant of his actions or the ignorance of his actions, I should say. When in all reality, he wants to be laid down with Miss Nancy Mace and relaxing. And all right, let's just keep it there all the way real. Rather than just telling us whatever we want to hear, Mr. Dyson. And I think I'll leave it right there. And what you say, family? What's your take on Michael Eric Dyson? Do you think he's a hypocrite for trying to call her racist on TV? And like this had been, like he had been doing for years. And this is years of him doing these type of actions. Um, comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up on that note, family. Peace.